All right, I am here, uh, Westville, Lorenzo's Cabana, Puerto Rican Mexican Fusion. This is a great menu, so let's check them out, man. Make sure you subscribe, Lorenzo's. Hi, I am Lauren Soto. My husband is the other owner. His name is Adon Soto. And this is Lorenzo's Cabana. This face right here is actually my father. And his name is Lorenzo. That's and um, we grew up in North Philly and he had a lot of stores, so this was just normal for me to do. And he passed away and this was me kind of reliving his memories. Me and my husband decided to do a fusion, me being Puerto Rican, him being Mexican. We said, why not do a fusion? And this is what we came up with. It's a cheesesteak empanada, right? It's a cheesesteak empanada, right there. Look at that. Yeah. 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 So you're not biting into air, you're definitely biting into meat from the beginning all the way to the end. That was one thing I couldn't stand is when I would go get me an empanada before catching a bus in Philly, it was always like air in it. And I'm like, God, I just want some meat. And so when we took over, we decided to do the fusion. I was like, empanadas, that has to be meaty, that has to be full. Even if you're a vegetarian, we make sure that's packed with veggies. But well, Cuban technically is always usually dry pork, but I always think, why not make it juicy? I don't want to, well, the wife, she was like, screw you, I'm going to eat my cheesesteak empanadas. So, <laughs> this is all that's left of the cheesesteak empanada. Oh, um, sorry. <laughs> but it's good though. I don't care if you it ate it It was delicious. This is a favor from uh, my sister over here. Cheesesteak empanada, Lorenzo's, Westville, small town. Fire. Off of that bite, you know, aioli. <laughs> I just, do that just that hit my mouth like a crack pipe. <laughs> Stop <laughs> it. Don't even it's sound good. right. You it's so good. For tailgate? That's trouble. We got where we at, Potter. Just so you know, just so you know, they keep it authentic to the culture. You know what I mean? You got the grape soda, you got the soda in the bottle. Uh, so this is um, chorizo and al pastor. And street tacos are the best just because it's bite size. You know, two bites and you're done. That's al pastor right there. Tortillas need to right there. Yeah, and they, add, they give you a little bit of side uh, grilled onions too. One on both, or like this. That's good. Gotta have some onions. Wow, that cheesesteak empanada was the one. There you go. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Look at this. Beautiful. Bite size. Mm, mm, mm. He asked me if I wanted everything on it. I'm like, yes, give me all the cheese on here. You got two different type of cheese. But the way he did the tortillas, though, I like how he just made it extra crispy. Mm. I mean, this is a hot pot store. Excellent. Mm, mm, mm. The sweetness from the pineapple. You going for another one? Well, I tried the chorizo. I tried the oh, you did chorizo. I told you. If you know what good Mexican food tastes like, so good. And on top of that, these are only these are like two fifty. So don't tell the people not. <laughs> I want people to come, but not everybody. <laughs> I'm gonna try this aioli with this pastor. <laughs> I'm gonna 
try it. Try the aioli with the apostor tacos. Trust me on that. It's good on anything for real. Mm -mm -mm. <clears throat> this is like a really big fan of yours. Hi. And she told me three years ago, if he ever comes in here, you better text me. Lorenzo. <laughs> <laughs> so like Lorenzo's. <laughs> I'm here. It's amazing. It's good, isn't it? Really good. Really good. So good. Say hi. Hi guys. <laughs> <laughs> love it. I love meeting people that, you know, leave comments and it's all love at the end of the day. And I appreciate you watching and commenting and liking and subscribing. Let's get back to Lorenzo's. This is about as Puerto Rican as it gets when it comes to uh, a okay. plate. You know, we got the empanadas. Look at the crispiness on that. And you got the rice. What was, this, what was the name of this rice again? Something Candules? Moro de Candules. Is that what it is? This is, I don't know. I guess it's for the empanadas. Yeah, probably. Okay, so this is the it's Cuban like one. This is the Cuban one. Pernil? Pernil? Yeah. Pernil? Cheese, ham, pork. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty much a Cuban sandwich and an empanada. I think we're supposed to do it like this. Let's go. You gotta try this. This pan is really good. Like a home cooked meal. But I like this salt. Whatever this is right here, it's like a relish in here. Hey, go ahead. Chorizo. No, pork sausage. Mm -hmm. Like ground pork. Wow, this is really good. Eating that rice, <clears throat> the empanada, and that pork. The pork was all that. Great pork. You gotta eat it like this, though. The empanadas were like top tier. Not only that, um, I just love the vibes here. Very homey, very just personable. And the food itself is delicious. I mean, that's all you really ask for when it comes to like these small mom and pop shops. Yeah. Any kind of meat, we put a steak, chorizo, a pastor, cecina, even fish, shrimp, so cheesy like that. But a different kind of, pretty much a different kind of meat. And, and we use pineapple for the for the sweet tacos. Like that. And pretty much it's gonna be like fold and a half. So cheese is really melty in there. Now we don't want to fold, so we're gonna hold with something in here that way they can hold it right there. Hey, this, this is your first time having media? Yeah. Right. This is this is about a, I've had a lot of media in my lifetime. This ranks as a tops for me. Mm -hmm. Other ones like they just do double layer tortillas, but it, and it's flavored with the beef broth but they don't put cheese in between. This has cheese in between it. This actually has a unique signature flavor to Lorenzo's. <clears throat> and on top of that, let me get some of this. We're gonna do it like this. this. You got the rice and you got the Bidia tacos. I actually wasn't gonna order this, but when he showed me what was in that red pot, 
he started turning the the tongs, I'm like, oh, I gotta get that. Now, this is a set, this is like a crunch wrap because in between the tortillas is cheese. Never seen that before, and it feels crunchy. It feels cheesy and beefy. It looks, yeah. I don't even know if I should do this. Let me see. Okay. Dip it in there. Sometimes you gotta violate the consomme. No, <laughs> like, literally, I'm like. <laughs> that's, what they, that's what they do on social media, right? Hold on. Mad dipping. You <laughs> try it? Yeah. Ah. Do your thing. Do your thing, 21. Mmm. Mmm. Try it? Oh my gosh. Oh, we got the rice too. I want to show you the cheesiness in here. See that? Nice and crunchy tortilla. Tender beef. Amazing. If you like beef, <laughs> if you like beef tacos, media, got the fried onions on here too. Amazing. Serve with a side of rice. This is this is about. A, I've had a lot of media in my lifetime. This ranks as a tops for me. Mm -hmm. Other ones, like they just do double layer tortillas, but it, and it's flavored with the beef broth, but they don't put cheese in between. This has mm -hmm. cheese in between it. This actually has a unique signature mm -hmm. flavor to Lorenzo's. Get some of that broth. Y'all better not watch this on an empty stomach now. This is a lot. This is like three of these media is a lot. Sorry. Oh, he got your burrito too. It's so good. Oh, what? No, you didn't. <laughs> I want you guys to try the burrito oh too. Goodness. What kind of burrito is this? That's the, which burrito is that? That's pork. That's the pork burrito. Yeah. It's actually the penny. Penny. Wow. Y'all be like, yo, JL, you, you look like you don't gain weight. Yes. You ain't <laughs> see my full body. Your media is like top tier. Thank you. I appreciate that. And you didn't, I think you, so. you didn't even flex that either. You're and like, I, you know, and we I, got media. And I think so too. <laughs> <laughs> I think our media is the best. She, I know I've told her a hundred times. I've tried different places. Me too. Places yeah. that you. Pretty much the places that he went to, I tried them. So those are the ones that I was like, I tried and I'm like, oh, this would be better if it had this. I think the reason why our BD is the top is that, you know, it's a it's a fusion restaurant. So sofrito goes on everything with us. Okay. So, you I know. know. Among other things. Mm -hmm. yeah. Good Lord. I'm acting like I said, I am quite scared of this burrito. This burrito weighs more than my baby. And my baby is right there. Look. Oh, snap. I'll show you one side of the burrito. This burrito looks like I made it at home. There's no limits. It's a lot. So it's supposed to work out today. Me? <laughs> You ever see that TikTok meme when it's like water gets on your phone? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh -uh. And they like order, like it, it's pretty much like the water, you know how water gets on your phone and it starts like acting up? Oh, yeah, you're yeah. like, it's automatic. And then it starts twice. ordering stuff off of Amazon. Uh -huh. Here's like for me, it's like the water got on my phone and like I ended up like ordering food and being here. <laughs> it's like, what is it when your husband says, do you want anything to eat? And then when he brings his plate, you just accidentally fall. Also, <laughs> eat, yo. <laughs> She's not, mm. she wasn't the, she, now mm. it's, she's the, now her report. Right. I don't know if it's the green or what. It's the green sauce, her yeah. This is the first time really eating kids her age. Right. No, no, you know? I don't want spicy. Let me just try it's it. It's such a big environment. I'm like at the edge of my last, a really good burrito too. 
You feed two people with that burrito. But mm. think, think of a burrito with like that Puerto Rican rice, like mm -hmm. so sazon. I was just about to say that. And Puerto Rican pernil. Banging. Oh my god. I'm afraid. I'm out vlogging though, like I order my stuff. No lie, I feel like the chef just be like, you gotta try this too. They make it come right yep. out with it. Yep. That, yo, that burrito. I mean, their rice to me, it's like home cooked, like Puerto yeah. Rican rice. Yeah. Y'all gotta get here, Lorenzo's. I just like like Lorenzo's. I you, you be like, yo, look at this name. Tell me what type of restaurant this is. I never think it would be Mexican or Puerto Rican. Yeah. But shout out to Mr. Lorenzo's. Your daughter out here repping you. You know what I mean? Should be proud. Are you gonna cry? <laughs> Aww, don't make her cry. You don't make me cry. I know, right? <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> yeah, they 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 represent here. This is a uh, beautiful food, and that can only uh, be done by people that were raised right. You know what I'm saying? So we salute you. Rest in peace. Thank you for joining us. Beautiful food. Y'all gotta come try this out. It's really good. It's a uh, game changing stuff here. So. Yeah. Four. <laughs> See you in the next episode. Peace.